Good Thursday morning. I'm meteorologist Ted Schmidt. Today, a gloomy start to the day, but there is improvement in store. We're looking at something that will happen over the afternoon hours. A, a cold front moves through. The skies will then brighten and clear off, and uh, then we're going to enjoy some uh, drier, less humid weather uh, by this afternoon. But right now, 64 degrees in Rochester. Kind of a crisp, cool north breeze. That's really beginning to pick up. That's something we've noticed uh, since just around sunrise. The winds have picked up just a little bit, 13 miles per hour. We're going to see those become rather gusty in the afternoon in the wake of these showers. But right now, kind of gray skies. Uh, we've been actually rain-free here in Rochester for for a while, uh, we are going to see some shower activity. Uh, look, checking out there, actually, radar to my side over there. We're going to look at the more of that coming in. I'm going to check the radar here in, in a moment. But uh, drier weather right now for Rochester uh, and uh, kind of still muggy, sticky weather uh, for the time being. But that's another thing that's going to be changing. Rain will move out, humidity will move out, and then we're going to get a, a taste of Canadian air, basically, uh, for uh, really the rest of today, the end of today for the next couple of days. In fact, overnight lows next couple of nights will be in the 40s. It's a little on the coolish side for this time of the year. 60s on the map right now. It's just a little after, uh, well, 9.17 this morning is the specific time. 64 degrees in Rochester. It's 67 in Austin, 69 in La Crosse. Pretty gray out there. Uh, dew point 60 when we started our morning program this morning, KTTC, uh, at 5 o'clock, the dew point was 64. It's been going down ever since then. Air pressure is rising, telling us the cold front has moved through. Of course, the winds signifying that change. Now it's spinning around to the northwest behind that front, and we start seeing that uh, drier, more stable atmosphere uh, under that high pressure coming in. That it tells us air pressure is rising. Yes, high pressure is moving in. Uh, showers uh, until about noon, then we'll see gradual clearing. 76, the high temperature. Winds on the gusty side this afternoon, northwest to 15 to 25 miles per hour. Uh, later in the day, but watch the showers. Now there are concerns here that some of these areas that are in the oranges and the reds and that rain on the on the map, they're getting a lot of rain now, and that may continue over and over and over in some spots. So there are some flood concerns in parts of the area. Totals uh, in the last 24 hours, one to two inches. Uh, Rochester uh, at the airport about a quarter inch in the last 24 hours, but we had a report. Not far from there, of Stewartville, almost an inch. Uh, parts of uh, Austin have seen quite a bit of, in, of rain in the last 24 hours, even southward, uh, one to two inches, uh, three plus inches. In fact, there was a report of four inches in Toma, and there are some reports of street flooding there on Interstate uh, 90, uh, well, Interstate 90, just off of the branch off at, uh, where the 94 uh, uh, joins it. Uh, but looking at that flash flood watch, Far northeast corner of North Iowa in that part of Wisconsin. Uh, two to three inches of rain today expected. They've already had about two, uh, two inches, so another inch or two uh, on top of what they've already seen. So there are some flood concerns around Alamakee County areas southward and from parts of Wisconsin. And uh, to the east in the area, regionally, flood warning, or flood advisory rather, uh, goes until 2.15. That was just issued a few minutes ago. Uh, from, from the National Weather Service. Two to three inches of rainfall uh, already headed their way today. So Wausau, Wisconsin Rapids, uh, the Dells, all looking at uh, that advisory. And watching this cold front move through, that's what's generating a lot of these showers. Once it does get out of here, then finally the rain moves out, dry air comes in. Even a secondary shot of cool air from the, the uh, Dakotas behind that will continue to keep things gusty and drier. Uh, showers moving out uh, this morning. And some afternoon sunshine headed our way with that uh, cool breeze out of the northwest. Uh, looking at a cool night tonight, 40s. Next couple of days, 60s to maybe low 70s by Sunday. A slow warm up from there. And then next week, if you're thinking, well, I hope we get some 80s. Well, next week's June. Just like that, we do flip the switch and we go right back to the 80s. But showers uh, going on uh, this morning. Here's future cast, the afternoon dryer so with uh, increasing sunshine, uh, kind of a gusty northwest breeze. Tonight, a diminishing breeze, clear upper 40s. And then tomorrow, as high pressure moves in, a slight breeze on the breezy side still at, at times, maybe 15 to 18 mile per hour. It's not as gusty as today uh, in the afternoon we will be. But uh, daytime temperatures tomorrow with just a few passing clouds and a fair amount of sunshine. I look for high temperatures tomorrow uh, in the, the mid number 60s. And then by the time we get to Saturday, a uh, lighter breeze yet. A uh, few fair weather clouds here and there. I look for high temperatures on Saturday in the mid 60s again. Then we go into Sunday, we start seeing more and more th warmth, more sun. But today, uh, some afternoon sun at times, uh, it looks like we'll have gradual clearing. 
A breezy mild day. Temperatures in the 70s across the map. Northwest winds uh, up to 25 miles per hour. 76 the expected high uh, as we drop off close to 50 later tonight. Uh, northwest winds 10 to 20, gusting to 25 miles per hour in the afternoon. Tonight, a diminishing breeze. So kind of crisp in the evening. Those winds around 15 miles per hour until just after sunset. 49 overnight. And then uh, tomorrow, uh, still a significant breeze. Not not as gusty as today, but we're talking that um, moderate northwest breeze ushering in more of that dry air. 66, a uh, fair amount of sunshine tomorrow. Looking at uh, some sun over the weekend, especially Sunday, a, a light south breeze, a lot of sun there, low 70s. Uh, isolated shower, thunderstorm in the afternoon on the Monday of next week, and better chances for the middle of next week as we see more of that uh, humid air returning, uh, charging the atmosphere, setting up for some thunderstorms. Highs next week mainly in the 80s. Well, certainly after Monday, it won't be in the mid-80s as it stands right now. Probably Tuesday until next uh, Friday or even that upcoming weekend beyond that. So the first several days of, of June or just about, aside from the first, uh, are looking to be definitely on the warmer side of things. In the meantime, uh, yeah, uh, just uh, try to stay dry in those showers, uh, especially south and east of Rochester, but that's still going on for the remainder of the morning and perhaps just a little bit into the afternoon. And then by around 2 or 3 o'clock, we'll see a fair amount of sunshine and uh, and have a, a great day and enjoy that uh, break from humidity. I'll be coming in uh, as we move along through the course of today. See you tomorrow, everybody.